Graham Williams comes back from injury. And our 13-match unbeaten run in the league comes to an end. Go figure. Hey guys, RC here, back with Playing the Kids, Play the Kids, our Youth Challenge. This is episode 26. Hope you guys are enjoying the save. I really am. And uh, yeah, you can see there, we have uh, been on a pretty long unbeaten run outside of the friendly uh, since losing to Oxford City. And uh, that 13 match unbeaten run, not counting FA Cups, comes to an end as we lose two to one to Torquay. Uh, Anthony Carmichael got the lone goal in that one. Aaron Eardale got a 10-minute brace to give them a come-from-behind victory. Uh, we did beat Bellaricki 2-0. Graham Williams uh, came off the bench in that one, and Tony Doyle scored. Uh, Williams replaced Mudge in that match uh, as we've got the 2-0 clean sheet. So today we're going to have Chester highlights, and then we'll play Southport in the FA Cup second round. Uh, we definitely need to get a win. The goal here is to get to the third or fourth round and draw a, an away game against one of those big club teams to kind of set us up financially for the next year. That's kind of the goal as we're building the team up. So let's get to the highlights for Chester. We gave Tim Cook a start in this one. He takes the set piece and it goes to Mudge at the back post. He catches it in the air on the volley. Cook then takes the penalty and he is uh, kind of sticking me the bird uh, for not playing him very often. 2-0 uh, <laughs> to Tiverton. Mudge gets the pass up the middle. They play it through the middle and that's 3-0 to Tiverton in front of the away fans. Warren gets the outlet ball. He's rushing into the attack. Tierney does not turn and run with him. And Humphreys, I don't know what the hell that was. Um, I'm really... Uh, we look at our standings and everything else, and we go, oh, Humphreys is pretty good. And then you see, you see matches, and you go, man, I don't know. Bacon makes his uh, professional debut. The 17-year-old came on in the 67th minute. Uh, they are saying Hemmings needs another vacation as well as Nuevo. Uh, it won't happen this week. Mudge is stellar, two goals, three shots on target. So we will give him a little congratulatory talk. Competition-wise, that has us still in first place, but the lead has dropped to six points with Gloucester really right up on us. And strangely, if we look at the last five, we're, we're even with Forrest Green. Gloucester is actually... Uh, only three wins, so it seems that we should be making up points on them instead of losing points. But uh, yeah, that's that's not what's happening because if it wasn't that long ago, we were 11 points clear. Uh, now we're only six, so yeah, that's troubling. Next up is FA Cup action with Southport. We are playing away, so maybe we'll get a little bit of a payday. We'll be right back for that. <laughs> All right, a very similar rotation here. Humphreys in the goal. Scott's going to come in for Hemmings in the center back. Allard's going to replace Tierney. Uh, both of them are a little tired. Tierney has not been practicing well, so I'm kind of making a point with him. Hugel and Izquierdo on the wings. Bliss and Ellis in the mid. McCarthy and Scobie on the attacking wings. Mudge and Williams up top. We are trying to get Williams back into match sharpness. And we need him to get back on the goals. We need him to open his ledger again uh, after that five, seven-week absence. Hopefully he can do it today. We are going to have to watch his fitness. And we open up with a little bit of encouragement. All right, we are in the white kits today. A little flick on header. And Williams is there. But it goes wide. Didn't quite turn on that ball the right way. Does get a corner, though, so there was a save. It goes near post, and it's headed clear. And it's Buxton looking to get a counter started. 
wide open on the right wing over there. Hugel closes down, tries to tackle. It's fought through. Another couple of tackles and then cleared away finally. Southport with three early shots, but it's their fourth that is their first on target. Let's go with some encouragement again. Hugel, McCarthy is there. Into Bliss. Not a good enough cross, just a little short of the mark. And now it's Wilkins opening up the attack as they find some space in the midfield area. Buxton completely wide open on that right wing again, but Hugel again closes him down well. And then I don't know why he's drifting so far inside there. That is, uh, that's something we've seen them do a lot. A uh, big save by Humphreys. Dolan got his foot on that ball. And we are really struggling here. Oh, boy. Mudge. Mudge is on it. There's a through ball to Williams. And Williams is off target again. All right, we're going to have to get some diagnostic work done on his targeting system. Four shots, not a single one on target. Uh, let's, uh, let's tell them no pressure. All right, they liked that. Most of them liked that. Hugel didn't very much. And we've got a lot of guys not playing well. Humphreys with a... Well, I thought it was a big save, but he went up high to get that. All right, looks like they're getting a lot of crosses from the right side there. Um, we are going to point the finger, get out there and grab that one goal. Let's encourage him again. We've only managed five shots here. But we actually have the better XG. So that's odd. All right, Bliss. Finds McCarthy. Couple of good touches and Mudge gets the assist from Graham Williams. That's number 26 for Mudge. And Williams contributes as we are now up. It's Southport nil, Tiverton won in the 59th minute. Very good ball movement from the boys. Uh, you know what? We are in the 63rd minute. I'm going to go ahead and make a sub here. Uh, John Bliss. I am thinking. Let me look around here for just a minute, guys. All right, we're going to make a couple of sit moves here. So I've gone to the uh, this four three one two. We've played that before. Uh, we are that way. We're only going to have one center mid, and that's because we're pulling off Bliss, and I don't have anybody else on the bench. That's the main reason. Uh, but that allows us to get keep Ellis in the mid and get Brunt on, who's a better attacking central mid in place of him, and then we're going to pull off uh, Scobby and bring on Carmichael uh, in the substitutions here. Uh, we're going to encourage him. A long throw straight to Williams. It is deflected. He is still struggling. And I'm kind of wondering if I need oh, a little flick on header, but nobody's running on to it. And the Southport keepers able to control that one with no pressure at all. Lumped out. Oh, I hate these root ones. Good save by Humphrey. I changed up our defensive back four a little bit to kind of play him straight up instead of forcing him outside because I think that's why he's dropping so far into the middle is to kind of give that open space. But then he has to close him down. So, all right, Brunt's looking at him. Humphreys goes up and makes a big save there. Carmichael in space. Uh, he picks out Williams. Williams looks near post, but he just didn't have anything on that ball. Uh, I am wondering. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull him off for Tim Cook. And we're going to start slowing the pace down a little bit. Set pieces, throw-ins, corners, goal kicks, those things. Oh, come on, boys. Four minutes of stoppage time. I'm fine with no highlights. And we get the one nothing victory.
Sorry about that. I had to turn my ringer off. My daughter's blowing up my phone with pictures from a birthday party that they're at. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Outstretched arms. I think that was a good win. Wasn't beautiful, but it was a good win. All right, let's see. We've got uh, how much money do we get today? 81,000. That's nice. And that gets us to that, that key third round. Andy Scott, 16 years old, making his debut in the second round of the FA Cup. Beautiful. <laughs> Humphrey shines, 17 passes, 9 saves. Uh, your goalkeeping was uh, particularly important. All right, we do have uh, a day or two here before the draw, but let's get to it. It's on the 30th. I'll be right back with the draw. Bryant has been looking good in uh, his loan, so we may look at bringing him back if he looks ready to compete for the first team again. And the third round of the FA Cup. It's a lot of clubs in there, guys. So let me just kind of power through this till we get to our, our club. All right, there we are. We draw a home game against Hull. Ah, that's not what we really wanted. But it is Hull. They're 15th. We could, we could probably, we might be able to beat them. It'll be a tough ask. You know, it's going to be a tough get, but it's not the worst, right? But that's not who we wanted. I mean, you know, we, we wanted, you know, this is where you want like a Man City, Liverpool, somebody like that, and you want to play away at their stadium to get that big draw. That takes place the beginning of January. So that'll be when the transfer window opens. So let's get the uh, month of December played out. We'll come back for uh, some Christmas highlights against Oxford City. And, uh, you know, I might even throw in Boxing Day highlights just because. I know Boxing Day is a big deal uh, over in England. So we might do two highlights and then we'll play Hull in the next match. And hopefully we'll get past Torquay in the FA Trophy third round. But we've already exceeded expectations. so. This is a winnable game to maybe get us a step closer to getting some silverware, but that's not going to happen this year. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe for daily Football Manager content. Let me know how far we're going to get here in the FA Trophy and the FA Cup. Is Hull going to end our Cinderella run, uh, or will we make it to a fourth round? That would be amazing. Uh, so we've already well surpassed that. We're already surpassed the FA Trophy. So I think we've set our standard there. Uh, we do have a game in hand, and Gloucester has won again, and they have closed within three points of us. So these are league matches are becoming must-win games now. Uh, we are opening up a little bit of a gap over Forest Green, Stockport, but we have got to hold Gloucester off. Uh, we want the automatic promotion. So we've got to find out how we do in December. So come back next episode to see that bit of information as well. See you guys. Bye.